Hello and welcome back to another video. Today is a very exciting day because I've had package delivered and it's not just any package. It's a new phone, the iPhone 15. The last time I had an iPhone was in 2014. So for the past 10 years, I have been an Android user. And I'll be honest, I've not been a happy Android user. I've had Sony phones, Samsung phones, and my latest phone is this, which is the Google Pixel 6. When it comes to phones, I'm pretty easily pleased. All I want is for it to work and have a good camera. Because in case you hadn't noticed, I quite like taking pictures and videos, and most of that I'll do on my phone. With all these Android phones that I've had, there's always been something that's wound me up about them. Now, with the Google Pixel, it's been the camera that freezes. If you're a parent like me, you'll know that getting the shot is hard and you've got to be quick. And when you're trying to take a picture with your phone and it goes, I'm just going to have a time out for a minute and catch up with what you're doing. No, that's not it. That's not what I need my phone to be doing. So I've taken the plunge and gone back to an iPhone. Why? because I know loads of people who have an iPhone who love it and they keep them forever until they die. Whereas with me, I've been counting down the days to the end of my contract so that I can get a new phone and see if it's actually going to work for me. And I've decided to share this moment with you and we will unbox it together. I'm going to try and do a ASMR style unboxing, but it is the summer holidays and the kids are home, so we're just going to see how that goes. For those of you who don't know, my name's Natalie and I make random videos and put them on YouTube. If you want to go and check out my other videos on my channel and if you enjoy them, please consider subscribing to my channel. It really means a lot. But back to the matter in hand. Let's unbox my new phone. Well, not gonna lie, that was pretty chaotic unboxing. I've never done an unboxing before, um, but there you go. So we have pink iPhone 15 with its cable. Uh, it doesn't come with a plug. So I'm gonna have to find a plug. There's that and some instructions. Now I just have the job of putting my life, which is this Android phone, into iPhone form. Now, considering I have 10 years worth of pictures, videos, documents, everything on Google Drive, I'm kind of hoping I can keep Google Drive on this phone. But yeah, here it is. What's the size? Is this small? This is smaller. Huh, that's cool. I'm good with that. Um, do iPhones need screen protectors? I feel like I should get one. And a case. Um, but that is to come. So I'm going to finish setting this up. Okay, since I've decided that unboxing was terribly underwhelming and you need, you deserve more from me, we're going to switch it on together and I'll show you it first switch on so I need to take my sim card out of here first which oh apple sticker um anyway 
I need the tool sucker for stickers. And we shall take my SIM card out here and put it into, there it is. The iPhone and switch it on. If I can get the SIM card in. Right, let me get you a better view. Um, how do we switch it on? That big button? No. Yes. Yes. There we go. First switching on of my new phone. Sorry about the reflection, but can't do much about that. Hello. I love the rainbows. Oh, it's saying hello in all different languages. That's cute. Um, what do I do? Do I scroll up? Oh, there we go. English, United Kingdom. This feels so small and light compared to the Google Pixel. We'll go default. Quick start. Oh, I don't. Oh, I do have an iPad. We'll set up about it. Oh, I need to get the Wi Fi password. Okay, we are connected to the Wi Fi. Face ID. Oh, this could be interesting. Let's do it. What do I have to do? Position my face in the camera frame, move my head in a circle. Do I need to take my glasses off? I think I need to take my glasses off. I'm a bit close. Oh, that was it. Don't use face ID. Okay. Well, that was easy. What's next? Create a passcode. We've done that. Transfer my data from Android. Look, it has a thing that says transfer your data from Android. See, iPhone, no. They know. I have to download the Move to iOS app on here. Better switch this phone on. Okay, we have the Move to iOS app installed on there. We're here on there. So, send app usage data. What's this? Yeah, why not? Location. Notification permission. Da, da, da. Right, so I've got to this point where I think this is going to give me a code. Um, oh, it has. Oh, look, it's all connected. Right. What would I like to transfer? Contacts, calendar, Google account, photo library, apps. Oh, I've got 43.4 gig on my photo library. Maybe don't need that. Okay, I'm just gonna 
transfer this and see how it goes. Uh, it is transfer harmony. I love that iPhone have made it so easy to switch from an Android to an iPhone. They obviously know that Android users aren't that happy. I don't know how long this is going to take, so we're just going to leave it and see what happens. Okay, so it's telling me it's going to take about an hour, so I'll come back to you in an hour. It's finished. That took about half an hour in the end because it failed because I didn't have the phones plugged in. You've got to have both phones plugged in for it to work properly. So let's continue. Put my Apple ID in. I do have an Apple ID. Let's remember, see if I can remember my password. No, oh, wrong email address. I think it's done. So I'm just waiting for all the apps to download that I had on my other phone. And I've put my debit cards in the Apple wallet, which how good is it, right? So they do set texture the verification code. It just auto populates it. You don't have to do anything. Like on the Android, you've got to copy them and paste them and put them in and stuff. Whereas this is like, if you get a text message and you're waiting on a verification mode, auto populates it, you don't have to do anything. Amazing. I think I love it already, but <laughs> that that's all for now with me and my iPhone. So thank you for watching the video. I hope you've enjoyed it. Hope you found it helpful or whatever. And I'll catch you next time. Maybe next time I'll do a iPhone review. We'll have to wait and see. But thanks for watching. Bye.